Hey guys, it's Jack Spiller, and this is going to be a sh quick and short tutorial on how to do bump mapping, which will just add a little bit of extra detail to your character. I currently have here the uh, finished result I did from that short GFX tutorial. Um, so I got it all done, and then just so I don't have to deal with all this extra crap, I'm going to go click here and, uh, and unselect extras. Uh, so now all the camera stuff and the lights have been hidden, and also I'm going to hide well, first of all, I'm going to quickly set the cursor to the world origin, so that's out of the way. I'm going to click on the rig and hide it, because hiding the rig won't hide the stuff in the rig. So I'll just hide all this, and I can't hide this for, I don't know, whatever reason. All right, so I'm going to go to the shading tab. And once I'm in the shading tab, I'm going to make sure I have my character selected. Now, um, don't forget that uh, this isn't apply, this material isn't applied to everything in my scene. Uh, the accessories are different materials. So, but first we're gonna look at the main like clothing part. Now, uh, bump mapping, we'll just add a little bit of extra detail and to do it, it's really simple. Um, as you can see, the principal BSDF has a ton of inputs that we didn't touch because a lot of them are really unnecessary. One that's important though is the normal. Um, nor a normal um, like mapping or any sort of normal thing has to do with it tells the program how to bounce light off of your object in order which you'll it's used to, to essentially make fake detail so it looks like something is sticking out or uh, going in a little bit but it's really not it's completely flat it just doesn't look that way now to get bump mapping we first need to input or we need to get in the node so go to add search and just type in bump so you get bump drag it in here pull color into height and then drag normal into normal and you can see it doesn't look super great right now it's way too much now um, there's some controls on here a few things we can do first if we really wanted to we can invert it um, but I don't really want to invert it um, you can change the distance so change this so like a really low distance it'll it'll be the same like amount just in not as many places um, I might do like point 0.2 um, maybe yeah point 0.2 is good and the strength is just how intense it is so I'm gonna leave it at one something you can do to get a little more control over it is add a color or a color ramp just by searching for color ramp now a color ramp is kind of hard to explain, it's best to show. Um, so a color ramp does this. Basically in its default, it just makes it black and white. And by dragging these, we can you see it's like a gradient. So by dragging these, if we drag the black up, the black kind of overtakes, same for the white. Uh, now there's some, there are a lot of different modes that aren't really important. The really only important one that's super different is constant because it's just, there's no fall off, it's just constant. Uh, but we don't want that. We're going to go back to linear. Basically, what we can do with the color ramp is control like the fall off. But so if we drag these, see, it's just so what we're going to do is let's get this back down. Whoop, drag. So if we go back to looking at the principal BSDF, uh, let's zoom in right here so we can look see a bit better. If we drag up the black it'll kind of do that, which we really don't want. Since we have low distance, we don't really want to drag up the black, um, but we can drag up the white to like, do kind of what we did for the distance. But um, I don't really want, my, I think it's good as it is, so I'm not gonna use a color ramp, but uh, put that in the height. And that's pretty much all there is to it. There's really nothing else you can do with this. Um, sometimes I don't do it for the eyes because it's a bit too intense, in which case you can just duplicate the material by clicking this number and then deleting the bump. Um, but like you can do it to this as well. Uh, uh, so if we just add bump, bump, oops, I misspelled it. Bump, color into height, normal into normal. And that's again too much. I don't know, maybe like 0.4, maybe 0.3. And I turn the strength down to like 0.8. So it just adds that little extra bit of detail. I usually don't do it to the hair because it makes it look really bad. 
But um, that's that's it for this tutorial. Uh, please like, subscribe, and check out my other GFX tutorials. Link to stuff in like the playlist in the description, and I will see you guys next time.